Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be all about contouring and highlighting. We have so many customers come in store asking us about the best products and the best ways to achieve contouring and highlighting. So in today's video, I wanna walk you through some products that I have here lined up and the easiest ways to do contouring and highlighting. The first thing you need to know about contouring and highlighting is Contouring is all about slimming and disguising the parts on your face that you don't really want shown. Whereas highlighting is all about emphasizing the features that you love. So today I'm going to demonstrate a couple of easy ways to actually do contouring on yourself. So I don't have any um, contouring and highlighting on today. I've just got my base on, which is just my foundation. I usually like to set my foundation with a powder, um, but I don't have anything on today for the sake of this video. So the reason why I don't have any powder on today is because I want to show you guys a technique with cream contouring. So sometimes with cream contouring, if you do have a, um, a setting powder on already over your foundation, it can actually move the base underneath when applying the cream contour. So I'm going to walk you guys through um, how to use powder contouring and cream contouring as well. And also a couple of little tips with highlighting as well. So I do have a couple of different products here to actually show you. Um, I've got two powders and two cream products here. Um, so starting off, I want to show you guys um, a cream product. This is a Chanel product. It is in a little tub like this. And you take off the lid and that's what it looks like, like that. So that's something that you use with a brush. So you go in with a brush and sort of draw on the contouring like that. Then there is also a contouring stick. Now this is the product that I'm going to use today to show you guys. Now I have two different powder contours as well. I've got a bronzer and a contour. Now the Clinique one is more of a, a matte brown contour. So it doesn't really have much shimmer. Whereas this Estee Lauder one is a bronzer. It's more for adding color back into the face. You can easily use a bronzer for contouring. That's what I do every day. Now this product being a stick is super easy to use. You have a lot of control over it. So taking the lid off, you just wind it up a little bit, kind of like a massive lipstick pretty much. And you just draw on your face the places that you want the shadow. So generally with contouring, the best and easiest way to remember the places to put the product is actually in a three on your face. So down your forehead, underneath your cheekbone, and then back down underneath your jawline. So I'm just going to do that right now with the stick. Just like that. And then I'm going to go in with a brush just like this, just a flat brush. And then I'm just going to sort of buff and blend that out. Now I have just added a little bit more in the places that I want to be a bit more shadowed. Um, so underneath my cheekbone and my jawline is where I really want it to be sculpted. Now you can actually see the shadow that it's made on my face there and definitely underneath my jawline here. Now I'm going to go straight in with a powder contour. I'm actually going to use the Estee Lauder bronzing powder today. Now I do recommend always starting off contouring with a powder. Um, it's just a little bit easier to control on your face. You can add a little bit and then just build it up as you go. I'm just going to use more of a flat topped brush like this to get more into the creases of my face. You can definitely see the shadowing as I'm putting my face forward um, where that product is um, and how it's just sort of brought my face in a little bit and shrunk in the areas that are quite large. Now I'm going to show you guys how to highlight and show you how to emphasize the features that you love on your face. Now today I'm going to be using the powder highlighter from Inica. It's in the color Dewdrop and it's more of like a goldy sort of tone. So I'm just going to go in with a little tapered brush here. You can use an, a fluffy eyeshadow brush for this. A smaller brush is better as you can apply in exactly where you want the highlighter to go. So I'm just applying it to my cheekbones. Um, so we have just shadowed underneath here which will bring out your cheekbones up here. So then applying the highlighter is going to make them stand out even more. I'm also going to apply it just above my eyebrow. Underneath my brow. On top of my cupid's bow. 
my chin and the bridge of my nose. So all of the high points of my face I'm going to highlight. Now on the side where I have um, the cream contouring, I'm actually going to go in with a liquid highlighter also. And I'm going to use my finger to tap it on the same areas that I put the powder highlighter, but on this side. Now you can see how that's shown a really nice natural glow. Now I'm going to bring you guys in nice and close to show you guys exactly what I've done on my face and so you can see exactly where I've put the products and the way that they're sitting on my skin. Now another thing that you can actually do with your liquid aluminizer, um, something like this, you can actually drop a couple of drops into your foundation. We'll turn it more of a dewier, natural, glowy foundation. That's it for today, guys. I'm gonna go even out my face um, because clearly one side is a lot different to the other. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope this helped with anybody that was having a little bit of trouble with contouring and highlighting. Not sure really what products to use or the techniques to use. And please don't forget to like all our social medias don't forget to like comment and subscribe on this video and I will put any information about this video techniques tips benefits the products that I used all in the description down below as well um, thanks for watching guys I will see you in my next video